Oh, I need to heal. This thing is this thing is tanking me. How do I get out of this? This fight is actually not going well. All right, what's our class? An exorcist, able to sense the spirit world and cast out evil spirits. I think, oh, it tells you their abilities over here. Oh man, I could, I could take forever to figure this out. I can't, it's too much. <laughs> I always spend forever either creating characters in RPGs or determining what class to do because I can never decide. I think I'm going to do exorcist. That sounds appealing to me. I want to cast out evil spirits. For many years, the Master Ghost Hunter has defended the island of Seaport from the Mogai, hostile creatures from the spirit world. However, a hunt has gone awry, and now the Master finds himself captured by the very forces of evil he swore to destroy. His fate now rests upon you, his trustworthy apprentice. Go forth and rescue your Master from the vile clutches of the Mogai? I don't know if I'm saying that right. We're gonna go with it. Alright, I see HP, MP pretty standard stuff everything is on fire what happened ooh, 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 ooh. can i blow the barrels up and make more fire no oh man oh die e gooey mm, very gooey there's bikes here can i take a bike nope oh shit oh shit oh i just leveled level two got a skill point all right, so it it's very Diablo reminiscent or game similar to Diablo where you're like, you know, you like click and hold or, or just click and point and you'll go to where you clicked. I don't mind that control scheme in games. It's okay, but I don't play a lot of games regularly that have it. So it takes me a while to get used to the movement again. Oh, we just found some wheat. Is that like a crafting item? Oh man, there's so many enemies. We've already encountered like three or four enemy types. It's pretty impressive. All right, so we've got a bunch of items it looks like already. And didn't we get, we got a skill point. What should we lock? Let's unlock our guardian spirit. Hell yeah. All right, let me banish an enemy. Oh, that was tight, yo. Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm getting hit. Let's call down our animal spirit. I don't see. Where did my animal spirit go? Oh, he like... The animal spirit just like drops like right... Oh, I see him. He's right there. He's the big ass yellow thing. Holy shit. What is it? I can't even tell what it is. Oh, it's like... You can call multiple. Okay, it's like a little... It's like a little turret thing that fires. All right, so I know you can customize... Oh, shit. Oh, this turned bad quick. This turned bad quick. I gotta get... I gotta get some allies down. Put some banishing circles. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Man. It just ran up on me like super fast. I'm just trying to check my stuff. Oh, my guardian spirit actually has HP. Look at that. So he can get killed. It looks like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Can I summon like, hold on. Okay, it looks like right now I can have two. Bloodthirst amulet of striking. 1.4% HP steal, 7.1% critical chance. Nice. All right, let's try out our new weapon here. And then hold on, I think we got, we can get another skill, right? Because we got exorcist. What is second class? You can choose a second class at level 15 and a third class at level 30. Oh, hell yeah. So you can multi-class. Oh, what are those? Oh yeah, those equis. We have encountered them. They are stronger. What's back here? This map is huge so far, so I know, like I said, it's procedurally generated. Aha, uh -huh, banished you. Get owned, son. I wonder, I have no idea. I wonder if they're like bosses. Man, this game is gonna make me wanna look up the uh, Southeast Asian folklore on what all these enemies are, because I'm assuming that the names for the enemies are the actual names of the creatures in the, in the folklore. Let's get some banished things dropped. Yeah, come on. Let's drop a turret because there's a lot of you guys. Let's drop another turret and some more banish. Let's go. I'm like unstoppable already. Have I leveled up again and just missed it? Oh, okay. My potions and my remedies are stuff are over there. I didn't realize that. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's 
like massive on the screen in the bottom left and I just ignored it. Okay, what's happening here? I hit like an invisible wall for some reason. Oh, this looks, oh shit. This looks, uh, what are you? That's a boss, Mogai Summoner, okay. So there are bosses, all right. Well, let's get two turrets in here. Now let's see if we can't take this guy out. Are you just gonna summon a bunch of ads? Oh shit, dude. You are slowly draining my health. I'm gonna kill you though before you kill me. Hmm, speak to the master ghost hunter. Oh, you gave me a lot of stuff, dude. I'm standing right in fire. Am I supposed to be doing that? I gotta go through all this stuff you gave me. Jesus. Master Ghost Hunter, thank you. I am fortunate to have you as an apprentice, for it seems like age has finally caught up with me. Here, take my homing compass. I have exhausted myself in battle and no longer have the energy to use the compass's magic. Use the homing compass to bring us back home. Ooh, you can use the homing compass to teleport to the town of Seaport from anywhere and at any time. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, let's walk into the portal. Seaport, despite being an island small enough to fit entirely within the lakes of some larger countries, Seaport is one of the world's busiest ports. It has a population of 4 million with an estimated 1 million in transit. As people from all over come to Seaport in search of opportunity, its streets boast a dazzling mix of different cultures from all walks of life. Oh, the water looks pretty good for like a 2D pixel game. Uh, Master Ghost Hunter, once again, thank you for saving me. Although I have held this off for as long as I could, I think it is time I retire. The homing compass is yours now. From now on, my duty will be mentoring the next generation of ghost hunters. I believe your fellow apprentice Nadir has something urgent to tell you. She does not fight on the front lines, but her keen mind has served us well. Talk to Nadir the Inventor. Ooh, let's do it. All right, I have a skill point. Should I try to unlock a passive? Let's get all of our skills first. So now we have Seeker Talismans. Okay, glyphs. Oh, do I just add my glyphs over here? I don't know if the dev will see this, but I think you need like a sort items button or something. My OCD is gonna kill me if I move items and I can't like just quickly fix that. Ooh, and there's lore. Oh, nice. So you can read about the monsters. Hell yeah. Okay, a gooey. Kaya? I'm, I am so sorry. I'm going to butcher all these names. <sighs> it's no offense. It's just I am i can't even speak English. I think I said that in my first Ghostwire Tokyo video, <laughs> but I really can't. And so uh, I'm going to be hopeless when it comes to another language. Is it a ghost imp that is uh, also known as the Toyo? It is a ghost imp that has been created from the remains of a child. Witch doctors use these creatures to commit petty theft and sabotage or sell them to others who wish to do the same. Oh. That is creepy as hell. I kind of wish I hadn't read that. Igwai, also known as the Hungry Ghost, believed to be the spirit of a person who is greedy or covetous in life. Anything this ravenous entity eats spontaneously can bust in its mouth, making it impossible to ever satiate its hunger. Oh, dude, that is dark. So it's like cursed to never be able to, to fulfill its its hunger. Mm. A Zhangxi, a reanimated corpse controlled by a talisman on its forehead. Despite joints stiffened by rigor mortis, a Jiang Shi ho hops around dexterously. Its dangerous bite steals the life force of living creatures. Hmm, interesting. Po Kong, a restless spirit or shroud ghost that arises if its earthly body is still tightly bound within its burial shroud more than 40 days after death. Oh, are those like flies around it? Ugh. Uh, variants range from harmless to violent depending on the circumstances surrounding their deaths. All right, interesting. Evil warlocks who consort with the Mogwai and are able to summon them to do their bidding. They occasionally pose as holy men who dispel the Mogwai when it is in fact they who summon the Mogwai in hopes that villagers would pay for their services. Man, that's fucked up. Whoa. Okay. Food. I didn't even catch to get I talk to you. You're just a food vendor. Okay. This dish uses eggs that have been preserved in horse urine for a century. Oh no. Only preserved for a couple of weeks and no horse pee involved. Whew. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. All right, I'm assuming that's Nadir. So I'm not gonna talk to her yet. I'd like to check out the other vendors. You should give me a name, good person. I can't, are you like a, ooh, you're like an animal, aren't you? You're like a mouse or a fox or something. It's kind of hard to tell. I love the colors, the color palette is so vibrant. Seaport looks like it's only gonna get expanded, which is pretty cool. 
Oh, I can change my hair. Hat, scarf, weapon. Oh, I can change my weapon colors. Hell yeah. Oh, you have to pay to do it, though. Okay, it's only 200 coins, though. It's not bad. Oh, I feel like I'm leaving Seaport. Am I, sp I need to go talk to Nadir. Am I supposed to go this way? <gasps> Let me through. Thou shall not pass. It's a terrible Gandalf impression. I'm going to have to cut that. Nadir, hey, friend. You know the machine I've been working on, the separator? It's almost done. There, see? As you might know, the Mogwai attacks have gotten more frequent lately. My theory is that for some reason, the dimensional wall that separates the physical world from the spiritual world has been weakening. So when fully functional... Oh shit, I skipped that by accident. <laughs> I'm way too click happy. Uh, so she said something and then, but in order to get it to that state, we need funding. So I've managed to get a couple of odd jobs. I need your help to complete. Here's the first job. The plantation workers on uh, some farm, I'm assuming, have been complaining about a horrible smell that's been killing their crops. They suspect it is due to a plant like Mogwai, the Raphalisa, the Raflesa being nearby. Take a trip um, there, kill it, and we'll meet again. But make sure you take a bath before you come back. Thanks. Hmm. Why do I need to take a bath? I don't like that. Is this going to be a stinky job? I like to stay clean. Not about this. All right, let's go. Ooh, there's a world map. Nice. Pulau Hinjawa is the largest satellite inlet in the greater archipelago of Seaport. One of the last major holdouts of rural Kampong village life amidst rapid urbanization. Residents rely on farming and hunting for their livelihood. As mainland Seaport begins to get more of its produce from overseas instead of its own satellite islands or islets, islets. Islets, islets, islands, inlets. I know how to say that word. I'm just fucking around, guys. Please don't comment and tell me how to say that word because I know how to say it. Life is said to be on the decline at this place. Plans are already underway to find an alternative use, um, such as military training. Ooh. All right, we're going to test out this new spear. I see shiny, which means item. Excuse me. Let me into your house, please. Place. Hmm. Uh... The lights just flashed am i crazy that place is definitely haunted hey the storage guy's here oh are you a cat you meowed how come you didn't meow when i first met you i thought this was just gonna be like a combat area but it's a little it's an actual little town with stuff that's pretty cool another skill point book okay so it's pretty cool it looks like you know as long as you're willing to spend the coins you'll be able to respec quite a bit which is nice i like that i like when games let you change your character build that's why i'm so indecisive about the build that i pick for a character i have like bad memories of building or going with a character type that i ended up hating in a game but i still like the game and i want to play it oh yeah i see some new enemy types here let's do it Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. Die, 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 die. Step, 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 step. Okay, I'm definitely taking more damage. <laughs> yeah, give me all your food. This is kind of messed up. I just came over to this island on a boat, and now I'm just, like, stealing all of their resources. All right. We are definitely putting some stuff down to deal with you guys. Oh, shit. Man. That was a lot. That was, that was a lot, a lot. I see a chest. Let's go. Nice. Ooh, more talisman or uh, glyphs. Sorry. Talisman. Can you tell I've been playing too much Elden Ring in my free time? Ooh, the music picked up a little here. I got a tonic and another glyph. I got, didn't I get a new compound glyph? I did. <gasps> nice. Now I can get 
plus 10% to skill uses. I like that. So you get a glyph bonus if you pair it with a certain type of glyph. That is just, that is awesome. Oh my God, that is so cool. And you can put glyphs in this. Oh man, this is a really awesome mechanic. Armor break, I will get rid of that and instead go for the 10% experience gain. Hell yeah. Ooh, give me all your peppers, please. I'll make some pepper soup, hell yeah. Some pepper soup with some limes. All right, let's try. Let's try to get a minion here. Oh, I can't even find myself in the in the fucking chaos. Oh shit, I'm going to die. All right, let's let's drop a remedy. So I think the banish runes are my favorite skill so far along with the one where I just throw a bunch of crap at the enemies. <laughs> a bunch of of uh oh crap, what are they called? I feel like an idiot now. Uh, talisman. I throw a bunch of talisman at enemies. Oh, I'm just obliterating you guys with my freaking talisman skill. Oh, I like my turrets too. My turrets are pretty cool. Oh, I'm running out of MP. Save me, MP gods. You're my only hope. Watch that. Oh, that's so cool. Let's watch him get banished. Damn, son. The enemy designs have been pretty cool. There's a chicken. What am I supposed to do with the chicken? Is the chicken following me? Oh, this is, is this the per? No. Wait, wait, wait. That was like a special name to one of those enemies? What is, okay, the chickens are laying eggs when I click on them. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm scaring eggs out of them. That's great. All right, so I'm regenerating health and MP. That's pretty cool because of my abilities. My glyphs and my talisman and all that. That's neat. I like that. So I don't really have to worry too much about those, at least not yet. I'm assuming it's going to progressively get harder enemy-wise. What are you holding over your head? What's happening? Oh, you're, you're, yeah, you're one of my friends now. You got resurrected for me. Nice. All right, let's go, buddy. Are you going to follow me? Hey, come this way. Come on. Come on. Well, I guess I don't know what I expect. You are like an undead child. <laughs> the enemies aggroed to my resurrected allies. That's pretty sweet. We're just utter destruction. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Level up, level six. Ooh, and I unlocked the... Okay, so you must just unlock more glyph spots as you progress level-wise. I like how your talismans keep floating around you, too. Like, if they don't all hit an enemy or they run out of enemies to hit, they stay for a little bit. Yo, I've been fighting for, like, days here. Because it was nighttime and then it was daytime, wasn't it? Or am I just crazy and I just got to a darker area? One thing I gotta remember is to drop all of my skills when there's a decent amount of enemies. I keep forgetting. Are you trying to attack me? You are mine, bitch. You are my resurrected ally. You get that shit out of here. Look at the utter madness. Oh, I just came into the middle of all of those enemies, dropped every single skill I had, and just started unloading. That was satisfying. Oh, shit. This thing is hardy. I'm on a cooldown for my skill use because I just dropped a ton. Oh, I need to heal. This thing is, this thing is tanking me. How do I get out of this? This fight is actually not going well. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm having trouble like hit. I'm, am I getting poisoned? Yeah, I think I'm getting poisoned. 
Oh shit. I do not want to die. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got it, we got it, we got it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn. Oh my god. Man, you guys aren't going to be able to hear it, but my fingers. Woo. Jeez. That was tough. Okay, that was the challenge. Uh, ooh, is this my name? I don't know what that means. Uh, Alm Almamac, you boda. What did I tell you about taking a bath? Oh, because I got all that poison and all that shit over me. I probably reek, don't I? But good job so far. Reward. Power cookeries of wisdom. Oh, I get to choose. Okay, a glyph. Oh, Holy shit. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> oh man, the dev has got to fix the text somehow. The text, it goes off the screen. I can't even tell what the name of this is. And I think I'm missing one of its skills. Plus four MP gained per kill. Poison resistance. Well, that would have been nice for that boss. Venom Chris of Wisdom. I think honestly, I'm going to go with the glyph because if I can see the layout and I can use it right now. All right, let's de-glyph and then re-glyph. I don't know if that makes any sense. There's a sentence I never thought I would say. We're playing Tetris over here, guys. Oh, it's so close. I need to unlock some more. So I got to store the rest of this stuff. Let's see what these guys are saying. Elder Zenith staring at Nadir's machine. Look at this monstrosity sitting right in the middle of our fine city, eh? What is that foul stench? Is it coming from you? Oh, shit. <laughs> you riffraff. Do you know who I am? I am Elder Zenith, senior member of the ruling council of elites. You dare smell bad in front of an elite? You damn right I do. Screw you, man. Get out of here. Get out of my sight. Young people these days have no respect for their elders. Oh, uh, you know what? Forget you. That man over there is Elder Zenith from the Ruling Council of Elites. Back when I was with the Institute of Paranormal Studies, I proposed the Separator Project. Not only did he get it shut down, I heard he also pulled some strings and got me fired from the Institute. To this day, I don't know what his bloody problem is. I bet you're glad you only have to fight monsters and not have to deal with office politics, huh? Anyway, he can stare all he wants. He already got, we already got ourselves a permit to set it up there, so there's nothing he can do about it. Let's focus on our next job. We've received word that a group of cultists are performing a Mogwai summoning ritual at Pulau Kuber. Go there and stop them. You guys let me know down in the comments if you want to see some more videos on this game. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Outro Skilly here. Just wanted to say real quick, thanks for all the support. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely insane. So I really appreciate it. There are a lot of regular viewers that comment and watch all the time. I want to give a quick birthday shout out to one of them, John Gordon. I hope you have a great birthday, man.